Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of What's New in the Vintage Market. And this week we're gonna feature collections. I have several of them, but right now we're going to feature collections of tables. And what we have, I think, is pretty special. And just picture this table in your dining room with your family and friends around it for Thanksgiving. And what is really remarkable about the table is not just the size, but the detail. This is Jacobian in style. And I just think the detail is lovely. Now the top does need some refinishing. And I would kind of like to leave this decision up to the buyer as to what to do with it. Whether they wanted the bottom painted and shabby or whether they wanted it just restored to the original finish. But I think this table is remarkable, and I'll let me show you why it's remarkable. So, with just the pull of a single lever that's underneath this, the top of this, this table opens up very, very easily. It glides open. And inside of it are two built-in extensions. So there's one, and you can close it and just leave it at that size, or you can open both of them. And by shutting this, you have a huge, huge dining room table. Not only is the table beautiful, but it comes with six chairs. Oops. Seats are easily covered, but look at the detail on the chair. The next table in the collection is this beautiful round table with an amazing claw foot base. The size of these claws are really remarkable. And this table actually opens up it has four extensions to it now the top of it obviously needs some love and i am actually going to strip this dark dark stain off of it i've started on this ex this um leaf and this is what it's coming out to be it still has to be sanded which will bring it down to a much lighter shade and then I will put probably a natural finish on it to bring out all of the detail in the wood. But um, someone was just by and they think this is walnut and it's, it's really pretty. And what is also unique about this table is when you open it up. In the base of this single pedestal, when you pull it apart, you have this one center leg that is hidden, hidden in it. And then you would put all your extensions into it. So when it's open, there's four boards this size and you have a massive table. I'm refinishing the top of this to a lighter shade and I'm gonna leave it up to the buyer to decide what to do with the bottom but I'll probably leave the bottom natural because I think it's pretty nice, just the way it is. So the final table I'm gonna show you today is this oak table. Now this one I could see more in a kitchen versus a dining room. It's a little less formal than the two tables I just showed you. This is oak, it's really, really pretty. It does not need anything done to it and it has one leaf to it. So, um, this would actually open up to a table about that big. And we paired these chairs up with it. You can use any chair you like, but we thought this enhanced the look of this oak table. So as I said, we have lots of collections this week. We have collections of mirrors. We have collections of uh, drinking glasses, beautiful goblets, uh, wine, water, uh, little uh, cordial glasses. We have things out for Christmas.
couple more things before we wrap up this week's edition. But I just had to show you this dog. I just think he is so adorable. And I wanted you to see, compared to me, the size of it. It's pretty impressive. And we have him paired with a couple other really special dogs. So I also want to point out the edition of Shady Avenue. It's their holiday edition. But inside is a great article about the blessing board in the vintage market. And um, I'm sure it's going to bring a lot of new people into the market. But you know what? We still love our old favorites. So please come in and see us. There's only a few weeks left till Christmas. And we hope to see you soon. Thanks.